eyes, greenish complexion, double fisting coffee. You want to tell me what you did last night? Dinner with friends. I know about Tom's bachelor party. Rumor has it you were behaving like firemen. I enjoyed a black and blue porterhouse, a 30-year-old whiskey. It was verging on sedate. Heather has no idea what she's in for. Tom's a pain in the ass. He's stubborn. He never admits when he's wrong. Ivalo Quiroga, father of the deceased. Two gunshot wounds to the chest. Is he Omega? Uh, put a 20 on, not a chance in hell. Crime scene's on the third floor. I'd call that a forced entry. Where's the body? Javier Quiroga, 17 years old. Two bullets to the upper torso, one to the thigh. What a way to start a weekend. Barely old enough to shave. El Mijor Padre del Mundo. World's best father. Maybe the world's best father and his son had a disagreement. Family feuds do tend toward the bloody. Maybe it was a robbery, but it doesn't look like there was much to steal. Uh, one man's trash. Gang related? We're in the right territory. You get anything from the neighbors? Just the usual no habla inglés wall of silence. You ever think how much easier a job would be without the illegals? Your family come over on the Mayflower officer, huh? 747, working papers in hand. You in the ceiling, this is San Francisco Police Department. We know you are in there. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. It's okay, it's okay, don't be afraid. Okay, the doctor said the bullet nicked his pulmonary artery, but she did say the surgery went well. I was gonna say he's a lucky man, but waking up to identify your son's killer, well, it's not exactly the lottery. You know, he may not even remember what happened. He did manage to save his daughter, that's something. I officially hate this weekend. Miss Bettis, I'm the social worker assigned to this case. How's she doing? Physically, she's fine. Emotionally, she's traumatized. Being surrounded by strangers doesn't help. We believe her father and brother hid in the ceiling when they heard the intruder. Has she said anything about that? She's not talking at all. Wouldn't even tell me her name. Uh, Isela Quiroga, according to the building super. She's our only witness. She needs to feel safe. Right now, she just doesn't. <sighs> hey, Tom, it's me. I need your fiance. You called Heather? I told Tom to call Heather. I recognized the school logo on Asayla's backpack, and then I remembered that Asayla was one of the kids that showed up to Heather's bring your kindergarten class to Lindsay's ex-husband's work day. Calling Heather. Kind of places you at the top of the evolutionary scale. So true. But then Tom said that Heather said that she had to make a stop on the way. Really? What, is she getting like a mani-pedi? You know their wedding is really close, like days. And I am very happy for the both of them. Have I not been clear? Tom and me, it's, it's all good. No worries. What have you got? Because I am in desperate need of a solid theory. I looked into the Quirogas. There's no record of domestic disputes. No records, period. Including social security numbers, credit scores. Javier had an assignment card from the San Francisco Day Laborers Program. They were in the US illegally. Legal or not, this kid was a hard worker. Fingernails are embedded with drywall dust, paint specks on his skin, and in his hair. Probably been in construction since he was knee high. There are a few day labor pickup spots in Javier's neighborhood. I can ask around, see if anyone knows anything. Absolutely not. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, a little. And there is no way that you're gonna go running around in random groups of men, alone and unarmed, and asking questions about a murderer. But don't, that's a protection bracelet. Uh, Brujas sell them to ward off negative energy and evil forces but it didn't protect Javier. 
brujas and witches. Really? You're gonna talk to us about witches and keep a straight face? They're not witches in the black magic Halloween sort of way. You used the words evil forces and you crossed yourself. Well, you know, they're also marriage counselors, matchmakers, healers. They are con artists, but that does explain the amateur stitches on Javier's head. Oh, that ass commitment. I think I found my theory. I think our victim, Javier Quiroga, was a member of the Cinco's. He had a big five tattooed on his chest. Hello to you, too. Listen, I need you to get me in touch with Hex Escamilla. He took over the Cinco's, like, what, three years ago? Hex Escamilla? Yeah. But the only way that you would know about my gang contacts is if you read my task force reports. You keeping track of me? Hey! How's the Sailor? Ah, she still hasn't talked. She's in my office with a social worker. Her mom died when Asela was born, so Javier and Nivaldo are her whole world, especially since they came to the States. You brought a bunny. Oh, it's the stop I had to make. Snickers. Snickers? The class pet I thought I'd help her open up. It's a great idea. Okay, Snickers was so sad today. Couldn't get him to eat. I think he missed you. Can help him out. You hey, say you remember Inspector Boxer, right? You met her when the class came to visit. Inspector Boxer really wants to help your father. Where's Poppy? The doctors are taking care of him, but he needs your help too. So can you do that? You talk to Inspector Boxer for me. You know what? You can call me Lindsay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Do you like bunnies? Mm -hmm. Do you like dogs? Yeah. I have a dog. Her name is Martha. You know what? Martha helps me when I get scared, too. Just like Snickers is helping you. I'm gonna stay with Isela until, well, as long as she needs me. Okay. DCFS has a playroom upstairs, but I'll see you later. You were always good with witnesses. Well, this time Snickers gets the credit. And Heather. What did Isela say? She remembers sounds mostly. Um, the door breaking down, her father and Javier racing around in the dark, pulling her out of bed. But she didn't see anything? No and she has no idea what the intruders wanted. She did say that they spoke funny Spanish, so maybe they weren't native speakers. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I'm driving. Where are you driving to? I got a bead on our gang leader, Hex. Okay, I'll grab Jacoby. No, 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 he's still at the hospital. Come on, Hex is not gonna talk to you without me. All right? Come on. It'll be an adventure. Tom Hogan is back on the streets. Tom Hogan is on the moon. Tom Hogan is talking in third person, and it's scaring me. OK, so if Javier's murder was a gang hit, this could mean the end of the truce between the Western Edition gangs. Which could mean a war, which could mean bodies piling up faster, and we could tag them. That's a lot of boxes. Wedding stuff. Listen, Linz, when we talk to Why Hex, are your it... wedding programs bumpy? Uh, seats. Yeah, we're having a green wedding, so after the reception, our guests can plant the programs, grow flowers. Wow. That's uh, really responsible. And really thought out. You didn't think things out at our wedding. Says the woman who suggested pizza for our reception. Listen, Linz. Oh, look. Judging by the tattoos, we're here. Hex? Nice to see Yeah. I haven't seen you in the streets for a while. Lieutenant now. Homicide. I need your help with the case. I'm Inspector Lindsay Boxer. Um, do you know a kid named Javier Quiroga? You can help me out with this case, or I can flood your neighborhood with black and whites. Remind you that we're not actually friends. 
inside. The bitch stays here. I'll be right back. Important thing is we keep the case moving. Kobe is such a better partner. for Javier Quiroga. Javier, he's not here. What can we do for you? Well, the backsplash in my kitchen is half tiled. And, ugh, the guy who was doing it disappeared on me. I'm having a dinner party tomorrow night. And Javier, it's some wonderful work on my bathroom last spring. We'll get you someone else. No, the thing is, it has to be Javier. These guys don't exactly punch a clock. No, I think I'll just wait. Do you guys give me a soda? Oh, I think I might have to use your phone. Cell reception out here is for crap. You what? Hey, can I so, uh, Javier? No, say. Let us get you somebody else. I mean, you don't want to deal with a hothead like Javier anyway, right? Javier was sweet. Yeah, sweet enough. He went after another guy in the middle of my sight for stealing his girl. We bounced them both. Who did they go after? Kid named Jay Bird. Why, you want him to do your backsplash? You know, I think I'm going to cancel the dinner party. Thank you. The situation was completely not dangerous. Anyway, Javier got into it with a guy named Jay Bird over a girl. OK, me telling you to stay out of this was not a suggestion. There are 14 Jay Birds in the system, of course. Uh, I need to call you back. I am not done yelling. Mm, yes. Yeah. Tom's phone. Lindsay? Yeah, hi. Uh, Tom is not here, but um, I, I saw that it was you. And uh, did a sailor remember something else? Oh, I'm um, not, not yet. Where's here? Uh, in a deserted alley, and we're chasing down a lead. Well, Tom is. I'm waiting in the car. Really? That's interesting. Um, okay, uh, this is sort of weird. Uh, since Tom isn't there, can I ask you to do me a favor? Hey, um, got a bunch of bird seed, uh, a lot of unopened gifts. This one looks like a blender. It's a yellow piece of paper with handwriting on it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, entree, free range organic chicken. Got it. I know, in the scheme of things, this is really, off. really unimportant. Hey! What, you too important to talk to me? I'm a cop. Yeah, and last month it was the meet of me. Probably that ex girlfriend okay. of his won't take a hint, right? It's just that if the printer doesn't get the menus by 4 o'clock today, he can't guarantee it. Is this I'll... another one of your skis that says So you want Tom to drop it off? Listen. I will whoop her ass, show her I mean business. Yeah, it's not too much trouble. You're back on me, bitch. Oh! Hey, come on. Come on. Heather, I have to go. I got him off the bus now, huh? He did. Gun was hers, the drugs are his. Take him in, I'll do the paperwork later. What'd I miss? Well, these two have serious communication issues. Cesar, in addition to sleeping with his ex, is a complete buster, oh. according to the munchkin. Hey, I leave you five minutes to come back to a, a gun's blood and a full-blown domestic dispute? What heck say? The truce is still on, and Javier wasn't a cinco. Well, what about the tattoo? I don't know. Maybe the kid was a, a banger wannabe. You get anything besides a black belt? Yes, actually. Uh, I got a call that Javier went at it with a guy named Jaybird over Jay some girl, so... You want to take me back? I'll grab Jacoby and... What are you talking about? We're on a roll. Really? Yeah. OK. Oh, I almost forgot. Heather called, and you need to drop off the menu cards.
Mr. Kiroga, I'm Inspector Warren Jacoby, San Francisco Police Department. Where are my children? Your daughter's fine. She's with her teacher, Miss Donnelly. She knows you awake. She'll be here in a minute. My son? What about my son? I'm sorry, sir. Javier was killed last night when you were attacked. I know this is hard, but I need to ask you a few questions. Isela! Papi! <laughs> Mi angelito! Isela, be careful. Your father's still hurt. No. It's just what I need. <sighs> Heather's not what I expected. And what did you expect? I don't know, fangs. Nadia de la Chambre, Department of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Jill Bernhardt, Deputy DA. So, we got a report that illegal immigrants were involved in a crime. Not involved, victims. Nivoldo Quiroga was shot and his son Javier was murdered. We never pursued anything concerning his immigration status. One of the unis at the scene filed a report. One of the unis at my crime scene? The directive of Operation Return to Origin is pretty clear, Inspector. Uniform officers are strongly encouraged to report possible legal immigrants to ICE. Illegal status or not, he's a witness in a murder investigation. And allowances will be made for that. Great. Because I've heard of cases where illegal immigrants who are witnesses to crimes have been deported, the red tape becomes a nightmare, prosecutions have fallen completely apart because of it. That's rare. But I would suggest moving his case along quickly. You want to depose him while he's still at the detention center. Excuse me. officer sounds a lot like your boss, who totally hates me, by the way. Uh, Denise hates everyone. Well, at the moment, Denise is far more concerned with the fact that Nivaldo clammed up before Jacoby even had a chance to question him. You don't know if he doesn't remember anything or if the sight of our friendly immigration agent scared him into silence. Where's Lindsay? With Jacoby, I assume. Since she's not here, let's talk about her. I booked a whole slew of treatments at the Transcendent Spa for the day of Tom's wedding. Distraction. Good plan. I'm in. OK, who wants to hear about the contents of Javier's stomach? You are not going to Tom's wedding. OK, I have to go. Ed's Tom's friend, and Ed wants to go, and Ed never wants to go anywhere. I'm a horrible person, right? You're not a horrible person. You're a good wife. I have to tell her. I mean, I do, right? You have to tell her. This is one event that makes me very happy to not be a founding member of the club. Oh, I'm a horrible person. Oh, tell us about the stomach contents. Thank you. OK. Javier drank a cocktail of Smilax, Turner Aphrodisiac, and Larix Decidua. Some sort of herbal remedy? Mm -hmm. Or a potion, like, say, something that you would get from a bruja. And if it is of any interest to you, I track the dragonfly charm and Javier's protection bracelet to a bruja on Guerrero Street. You know about this witch, how? Because I have secret sources all over town. Uh, and we hope to gain what? what? You'd rather go back to searching for Jaybird number six? Can I help you? Yeah, uh, we're looking for the witch. Ah, I mean, la bruja. That would be my mother, corazón. You know, you don't have to believe in her gift, but you should respect it. You should respect that we're cops investigating a murder. Of course. Those of police who are mamá. Llévalos. Follow me. Thank you. May I ask that you prepare yourselves before entering my mother's presence? Could you? <clears throat> I mean, do you really think people believe in this stuff? <laughs> Superstition helps bring order out of chaos. Is that you talking or Heather? I'm an ever-evolving being. You are a... How can I help you? I'm Inspector Lindsay Boxer. This is Tom Hogan. Lieutenant Tom Hogan. Lieutenant. We're investigating the murder of Javier Quiroga. He was wearing one of your bracelets when he died. I do not speak of my clients. Clients? You're a witch, right? I am a healer. 
People trust me to keep the secrets of their hearts locked inside of mine. Do you think your staff would be interested in knowing there's an immigration officer buzzing around today? Now, when was the last time you saw Javier? A few days ago. He wanted a potion to win the return of his beloved. This is all very lovely and metaphoric, but we need to know about Javier's beloved. Marisol, you can find her at the 24th Street Bakery. Great. Anything else? Yes. A marriage will end soon. <clears throat> You're a little late. Uh, thank you, though, and we'll be back if we have any more questions. Detective. Yes, sir. You will need this. This is all the protection I need. I meant it for your heart. Let's go over this one more time. Nivaldo's your neighbor. His son Javier is killed, and you still don't know anything. I keep telling you, I didn't see nothing. Nobody saw nothing. Fine. Come on, let's go. Reset, yeah. More wall of silence. Been interviewing neighbors for three hours. Now somebody in that building knows something that will spin us the right way, but nobody's sharing. Right. I took a closer look at Javier's protection bracelet, and there's a few strands of human hair woven into the twine. I find myself incapable of not saying yuck. Unfortunately, no roots, so no DNA. But it is colored, one of those like drugstore reds. Maybe Javier had a girlfriend. Yeah, he does. Lindsay and Tom are tracking her down. Lindsay and Tom, on the streets together. OK, this is not good. Uh, I have people I need whoa, to help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know this is not good. You're her partner. And Tom's my boss. Officially, they're on police business. Unofficially, this whole thing is none of my business. You know. I don't know anything. You know they slept together. And you let her run off with him? They're on a case. We, we are the only ones that know. We have to, like, do something, like, you know, have an intervention or... Claire, if I knew something, I'd say whatever it is with Lindsay and Tom, the only people who can figure it out is Lindsay and Tom. So you're going to the wedding? Assuming there's a wedding. Uh, there's a wedding, and yes, I am going. Come on. I'm back. Let's hit it. Uh... You sure you want me in there? No, no, we got this. You don't get to look at her like that anymore. So, Marisol, no one told you he was killed? Javier had the same bracelet on. Who did he need protection from, you or Jaybird? Me and Javier got bracelets to protect our hearts. So why'd you leave him? All he did was work. That's why you left him for another guy? I didn't leave Javier for no other guy. Him and his father, just all they wanted to do was work all the time and save up money. They had like $5,000 stashed in their apartment. That's a nice windfall. You and Jaybird could have had some real fun on that money. He didn't even know about it. Javier swore his secrecy. That money was for his sister. Isela. No, Pilar, the one in Mexico. She's older than Isela. Look, that money was sacred. It was for the coyotes to bring her over the border. It's funny how we didn't find any money in Javier's apartment, and now Jaybird is MIA. He's in juvie. He's been there almost a week. OK, what about the tattoo? We know Javier wasn't a Cinco, but he had their brand on his chest. Look, that wasn't for a gang. It was for his family. He got it right after his mom died to remind him that even with her gone, there will always be the five of them. Javier, Pilar, Isela, and their mom and dad. Maybe Tom can get the chief to exert some pressure. If we can find him. You made a promise. Yes. Oh, looks like Tom's in a little you trouble. You said you wouldn't be on the streets anymore. Uh-oh. Oh. I, I, I think we should go. Stop. You promised me once we were married. Mistake number one, she left herself open for a technicality. Technically, we are not married yet. Are Bingo. Well, the diversion. Gang related He's going to use the job. I can't not do my job, especially when my involvement in the case is crucial. You're such a liar. He was not crucial. The woman who sits at home by the phone hoping that her cop husband comes home at the end of the night. You promised that wasn't going to happen. And 
then you go out and you chase some gang member with Lindsay. And he'll totally ignore my name and then reassure her that nothing will ever go wrong. Do anything dangerous. Mm -hmm. I swear to you. Freaking out about the wedding. Is that what's going on? Nice. Larger relationship question in the middle of a big fight. He'll dodge it with a physical gesture. You know this guy or what? You were wrong, Tom. I need you to say you were wrong. Ah, never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. Okay. I was wrong. I broke a promise to you. And I'm sorry. Navaldo's gone. He disappeared from the hospital. <sighs> Nadia is going to ruin me. She's gonna put me on some Homeland Security no-fly list. We cannot tell her Navaldo is on the run. No, she'll figure it out once he's found dead in a ditch somewhere. According to his doctor, he could go septic within hours. Okay, Navaldo wakes up. His son is dead. There's an ICE agent standing over his bed waiting to deport him. I'd run too. Question is to where? Our friendly ICE agent just requested our case files, only it wasn't so much a request. She knows. Empty hospital bed was a tip off. She also wants Isela. Why does she want Isela? Leverage on Navaldo. If he wants his daughter, he's gonna have to turn himself in. Well, he's not gonna live that long if we don't get to him first. Where the hell did he go? Okay, apparently I have to go down to the morgue. I have to go break the news to Denise. It's a pleasure knowing you both. I know that look. I don't like it. Nivaldo Quiroga fled the hospital. And the ICE agent Nadia wants to take his little girl. This just gets better. I thought maybe you could take her on. That reporter, Cindy Thomas, is all over this. You play this right, think of the headlines. Acting district attorney files an injunction against Homeland Security to reunite a father and daughter. You think you know me so well, don't you? Well, I'm gonna help you anyway. I'll talk to her. Thanks, Denise. Don't bother. This is Rivero. I heard the be on the lookout for Nivaldo on my police scanner. So I started thinking, where do illegal immigrants go when they're on the run from the police? Sanctuary churches, the unis are on it. But unis, mm. as in guys in uniform, as in not the folks that these folks are going to talk to. Granted, they don't really talk to reporters either, which is why it's lucky I have cultivated some contacts in the Mission District. One of them told me about Rivero. Is it a gunshot wound? It's through and through. He'll survive. But I'm sure it hurts like hell. Come on. All right. Nuns in St. Mary's are trying to treat him. He refused to go to a hospital because hospitals report gunshot wounds. Yeah, we know how that works. So I told him I had some friends who could help without going to the police. I'm the police. I, well, yeah, I, I know, but yeah, not really, so. Yeah, really. Let's start with how he got shot. A few days ago, two guys wearing masks, gloves, the whole scary robber bit, broke into Rivera's apartment on payday, and when he fought back, bullet to the rib cage. Sound familiar? Does he know the men who shot him? Conoces a los hombres que te dispararon? No sé. Pero ellos supieron que tenía dinero en efectivo. No idea, but they knew he had cash. Chico hunters. Excuse me? Chico hunters. They're strong arm robbers who target illegal immigrants. I've heard of cases in LA and in Miami, but. They target people they know won't go to the police. It's despicable. The hunters know their victims are getting paid, right? Ask him if he's ever worked for Encinal Bay Builders. Has trabajado con Encinal Bay Builders? There were two guys, the construction foremen. Okay, so they pay their workers end of the day, then they wait until they get their money, and then they put on masks and get the money back at gunpoint, and whatever else their victims have managed to save up is a nice way to turn a profit. The foreman, how was their Spanish? Uh, it was kind of not native. Sayla said the robbers spoke funny Spanish. I gotta go. What the hell is going on in here? Nothing. You don't see him, okay? He's just here enjoying fine medical care. Okay, I need to see you now. This better be good. What do you got? Hey, right here, to me, or we're leaving. 
dude came through my neighborhood a couple of hours ago. He was looking for a gun. Why do you think it's our guy? He had blood on his shirt. He was wearing a hospital bracelet. Sounds like Navala. He's not running. He knows who killed Javier. He's out to avenge his son. Navaldo has a gun. He is out on the streets looking for you right now. Tell us what you know about Navaldo. I know I had nothing to do with any robbery. Good. Then you won't mind reading this out loud for me. Bring her in. Bye, sweetie. Ready? Okay. Go ahead. Dame to De Niro. Have you heard those voices before? Miss Ayla, are you sure? We just need you to tell the truth. It's all right if you're not sure. I don't know. That's OK, sweetie. You did a good job. Come on. Big job. Hi, Sela. My name is Nadia. What's going on? We're taking custody. When her father is found, she can rejoin him in Mexico. Can she do this? No. You can't just come in here and grab a little it's girl. It's better that all the adults in the room keep their voices modulated. We want to make this transition as easy as possible for you, Sela. Let's go, Sela. Sayla may recognize their voices, she may not recognize their voices. Which means I can't even get you a search warrant. Meanwhile, Nivaldo is out there somewhere, possibly septic, with a gun, and unlike us, he knows who he's after. Plus side, he can't be moving very fast. He's in pain, ice is looking for him. I mentioned how much I hate this weekend, and what is that stench? Trash can. Someone must have tried to treat Rivero's wound with a homemade poultice. Yeah, it's stinky. Didn't you say that brew house sometimes serve as herbalists? Yeah, you're thinking Encinal Bay Builders wasn't the only link between Javier, Navaldo, and Rivero. The brew house has clients throughout the immigrant community. People tell her their secrets. Personal and financial. She could have known that Javier and Navaldo had $5,000 saved for the coyotes. So what, a 60-year-old witch is the Jesse James of the Mission District? Think about it. She gets secret information from her clients, passes it on to her sons, and then sits back while they do the dirty work. Oh, I think it's time I gave this Bruja's crystal ball a shake. Do with this. Put the gun down, Navaldo. She killed my son. No, I didn't. I didn't know anything about it. She's the only one I told about the money. I bought a charm to make the money grow. She knew it was for Pilar to bring her from Mexico. You don't want to do this, man. I trusted her. She has to pay for what happened to Javier, senor. Your daughters trust you. They trust you to do what's best for them. If you kill her, you will lose a Sela. You will lose both of your daughters. <laughs> They need you, Nivaldo. There will be no justice in your system for my son. I have to do it myself before they send me away. Put that gun down, and I promise you I will not let immigration take you or your daughter anywhere, all right? And you let me worry about the justice.
Come on. Thank you. Yes, yes. You saved my life. Once I get a search warrant in here, I don't know how much of a life it's going to be, but I hear protection bracelets are all the rage in Chowchilla. Isela. Papi. Venga, mi angelito, venga. Venga, con papi, venga. I make a million promises when people are holding guns. I'd like to keep this one. Let me give it a try. Hey. Hey. So you got the guys killed over here? Yeah. We uh, found a stash of stolen goods in their storage unit and a list of financial information in the Bruja's handwriting with uh, Nivaldo and Rivero and several other targets. So, yeah, it's over. Thanks. Listen, um, about Tom being out on the street <laughs> earlier, that, that's my fault. I, I needed his help with a gang connection thing, and I'm sorry. Lindsay, I think you and I both know that's not true, but I appreciate that you said it. <laughs> okay. See ya. Still mad at me? Uh, I got like three days worth of grudge still left in me. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Della Schumpf, is it? Haitian? Mm-hmm. Tu Comancho? Your whole body is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only Creole I know. <laughs> My family's originally from the Dominican Republic, and so you and I, we share the same island with mm, different histories. The Dominican? First generation American. You? So, Nadia, I know what it's like. As a homicide inspector, people hate seeing you coming. Most of my days have been being lied to. I learned early on not to get personally involved. Well, that's easier for some than others. Well, my first time in the field, I found a family of six dead in a storage container in 120 degree heat. When we pulled the bodies out, one little girl, four years old, barely hanging on. I visited her in the hospital every single day. Did she make it? I guess we got lucky this time. Sometimes, in special cases, amnesty can be granted to illegal immigrants who aid in the conviction of criminal enterprises. If that's true, I know a great late night mom and pop spot over at Noe Valley. They serve a nice chivo picante. Might remind us of the island. Plus, uh, we can talk about maybe you pulling some strings to get Navaldo's daughter a visa. Oh, you smooth. Well, you know. <laughs> I can try calling her again. No, if she wanted to come, she'd be here. Is there something going on that I should know about? Lindsay spent half the day driving around with Tom. Lieutenant Tom? As in ex-husband, soon to be remarried, Tom. That's up, that's up, that's up. Hey. Hey. Did I miss something? We were just talking about Jacoby and his date with Nadia, the ice princess. He's way too sexy for her. Is that just me? First, ew. Second, you were totally talking about me. We were worried about you, that you might be disturbed. After your antics with Tom, you two out on the streets together, blood pumping. We were solving a murder. And if you must know. As in you decided to tell him how you really feel and begged him to call off the wedding? I've read between a lot of lines these last few weeks. No. As in, I finally figured out 
why Tom took the lieutenant job. And that it wasn't to be closer to me. Heather didn't want to have to worry about him being out on the streets. So, you know, he, he settled down behind the desk. And that can't be easy for him. You know, but he did it anyway. Because she asked him to. And and he he loves her. Well, clearly he's whipped. Actually, he's kind of great. They're they're great together. So, uh, turns out, Tom's not so bad at being in a relationship, which means he isn't the problem. Or he wasn't. <laughs> or I, I was the problem. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I want to be just like you when I grow up. So. <laughs> and I know you're going to Tom's wedding. I saw his guest list in the car. I was gonna tell you. She was so not gonna tell you. There's been a lot of freaking out on the subject. But Jacoby's going too. Oh, maybe he'll bring Nadia. I know I am disturbed. <laughs> <laughs>